Well, good morning. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. And if you saw yesterday's video, I said yesterday was day number 53 in my fasting journey. Well, in actuality, yesterday was day number 54. So today is day number 55 of my fasting journey. Yesterday, I was at 184 pounds even. And today, I am at 183.2 pounds. So since yesterday, I have lost 8 tenths of a pound. And I am officially at my smallest weight since starting my fasting journey. Um, I have not been at this weight in seven years. So I am definitely very excited about what these rolling 72s um, are doing for me. And I'm hoping that they continue to go um, in the lost direction because um, during my refeed there, I was having quite a little roller coaster ride with going up and down with my weight. So I am definitely happy to see my weight start going back down again. So this is like an amazing way to start a morning and I am definitely happy about this. And I'm excited to see what the scale brings me tomorrow. So, like I said, I'm doing rolling 72s. I am 19 hours in to my second round of rolling 72s. Um, the second round is scheduled to end this Sunday around 12.30. And what I think I'm actually going to do is end my um, second round a little bit early so that I can move my win eating window back up to the morning. And the other option that I was thinking about was um, continuing um, my fast to Monday morning and then have like my refeed then. But yesterday, um, I kind of extended my fast a few hours past 72 and I could definitely feel myself like fading away. Um, that was just my body is not ready for anything longer than 72. So I am going to end my fast early on Sunday, just so I can move my eating window back to the morning. Um, and I don't know what my refeed is going to be as of yet, um, but my refeed yesterday. So basically the reason why I had to um, move my eating window a few hours um, past uh, the 72 hour mark is because my brother had mentioned that there was a possibility he would stop by the office and have lunch with me and my mom. And he didn't know for sure if he was able to do that, but if he was in fact able to do that, I wanted to be able to eat lunch with him and my mom rather than just like, you know, sitting there watching them eat. And so that's why I chose to like continue fasting for a few more hours. So I actually broke like my fast at around 12 o'clock and we decided to eat from Panera Bread, and I think Panera is a uh, national chain. Um, and if it's not, then basically what Panera is, is they sell like um, sandwiches, salads, soup. Um, they have like uh, beverages, like smoothies and things like that. And usually when I order from Panera, I get myself the turkey sandwich. And if I hadn't had the issue that I had had with turkey earlier in the week, then I would have ordered myself a turkey sandwich, but taken the bread off and, you know, just eaten the turkey. So I had to go in a different route and I decided to try the tuna. And I have seen like tuna sandwiches from Panera and I knew that I was going to be scraping the tuna off the bread. And I felt like one sandwich, the tuna from one sandwich was just enough to make me mad. So um, I decided to get two sandwiches. And when they came, I scraped the tuna off them. And then I took the tomatoes and the lettuce and the onions off and put the pickles to the side. And it was my intent to just kind of like focus my attention on just eating the tuna. But I couldn't help myself. Um, the tomatoes and everything just looked so good. So I ended up putting some salt and pepper on the tomatoes and ate those and really enjoyed them. And then I had to eat the pickles because I love pickles and I'd been craving pickles for a while. So ate the pickles too. And as far as the onions go, 
I chopped those up and mixed them in with my tuna and then I like salted my tuna and I ate that. And that left me with something called emerald greens, which was the lettuce that was on the sandwich. And I have to say that this was like the most beautiful lettuce I have ever seen in my life. I have never seen like such a beautiful shade of green like ever. And I really should have taken a picture of it. And so like this gorgeous like lettuce, I definitely had to taste that and it actually tasted good so I ate that as well and when I finished eating my meal like in my head I was kind of like silently you know reprimanding myself because earlier yesterday I made a video saying I am just going to focus my attention on eating one food at a time and then use my rolling 72s like the fasting time to see like how my body reacts to that food and so now if like my body has like a reaction to what I ate, I will ha have no idea like whatsoever um, what's causing the reaction. It could very well be like the onions and the tomatoes, which belong to the nightshade family. And nightshades are absolutely no notorious for um, causing inflammation. Um, it could also be like maybe an issue with the pickles. I don't think so. I hope not because I love pickles and I'm not prepared to give those up. And maybe an issue with lettuce. I don't know. I know that I do have issues digesting vegetables. So maybe it could have been an issue with that beautiful lettuce or, um, the mayonnaise that was in the tuna. I'm assuming that was mayonnaise. I'm hoping that was mayonnaise or it could have been the tuna itself because, you know, tuna, um, is known to have mercury and so maybe that cause would cause some issues so if I have an issue during this fast I will have no idea what caused it and so I will just have to you know assume that it was one of these foods and I'll have to like test these foods individually um, in the future um, but right now so far so good I feel okay but I initially felt okay um, with the turkey and it took like a few days before I realized that I've got a problem here with the turkey. But like I said, I was kind of like beating myself up for like breaking like my rule because the thing is I've always been kind of like a person that likes rules and like structure and like I had made these rules for myself and here I went and broke them and I was kind of like focusing my attention on that. But, like, after the meal was over, like, my mom and my brother were praising me. And the reason they were praising me is because I threw my bread away, like, without, like, giving it a second thought. And I have such an issue with bread. I, like, love bread so much to a point where it's actually given my, like, mom, like, serious concern the way I love bread. And so um, the fact that I didn't like even give it a second thought and just threw that out. She and my brother were like, were like so proud and were like cheering me on and were like telling me, you know, like what a good job I had done. And that really made me think about like how like I was treating myself, that here I am focusing on something that I felt like I had done that was wrong when really I should have been, you know, focusing my attention on something that I had done right. Especially since that I definitely have like serious food issues. I obviously have to have serious food issues to get to a point where at I'm 219 pounds at like some point in my life and have over like 100 pounds to lose. Um, and so I really should have been, you know, praising myself and, you know, just kind of patting myself on the back because I've come a long way. And... I just really definitely need to be a lot kinder to myself, especially I'm on this journey. Everything that I'm doing is new to me. Um, food has always been my comfort and I don't have that comfort anymore. And because, you know, I'm doing these, these fasts and I'm eating like whole foods now. And so I'm just on like this totally new adventure and I can't afford to like beat up on myself 
and I just kind of like want to like encourage you guys to like be kind to yourselves too um like this will be so much easier if you can be like your biggest cheerleader and like your big fan and somebody, you know, that like is telling you, you know, good job and all that. And so I just kind of want to encourage you to do that. And I am definitely going to like encourage myself, you know, to do that and to be a lot kinder. And um, basically that's all I wanted to say today. Oh, I guess I just wanted to kind of say one more thing and then, um, you know, what I was beating myself over was like fruits and vegetables, like the tomato, technically a fruit because it has seeds in it and like lettuce and onions. Like I really shouldn't have been beating myself up over like whole foods. And so anyways, that's all I wanted to say today. I hope that you have an amazing Friday. I hope that you are kind to yourself today. I am going to try to be kind to myself and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.